The American Federation of Teachers tells us average salary for a teacher in Mississippi is a little over $40,000. Leaders say even with that, and we're still at the bottom when it comes to education funding. Some are hoping the governor will call a special session to rectify the error made by the Mississippi Department of Education when it comes to teacher pay raises. After much debate on a pay raise for Mississippi teachers, Governor Phil Bryant signed a bill earlier this month giving educators $1,500 more a year. Some educators aren't happy with the amount. So we did the wait and see thing. Um, and when the 4,000 went to 1,000 to 1,500, we were really shocked. We, we really were because we had had meetings and talked about what that would equal on a yearly basis. Now, some teachers won't even be getting that, according to the Mississippi Department of Education's calculations. The department says they calculated the number of positions based on the code in the state student information system. MDE says not all teachers were included in that system, leaving vocational, special needs, and gifted teachers in the dust. MDE admits that they did a miscalculation. And uh, the governor did, you know, out of anxiety, I'm sure, decided that well, he wasn't going to cover the mistake that MDE made. He was not going to call a special session to go back and revisit. A special session is what some legislators are demanding. After discovering the $14 million error, members of the Mississippi Legislative Democratic Caucus are asking to move money from the rainy day fund to cover the shortage. State Senator Derek Simmons is among many who hopes if money cannot legally be transferred from that fund, Governor Phil Bryant will call a special session. Others say they're calling Governor Bryant and Lieutenant Governor Tate Reeves on a daily basis, hoping all teachers receive a raise. It's important for the teachers to know that nobody's given up on them, that we are here for the long haul. We're going to fight all the way to 2020. The lieutenant governor says any shortfalls uh, that they find lawmakers should have to make up for those when they return for the regular session in 2020. Others say they're assuring districts that the state will provide enough money so they don't have to dip into their own pockets. Live at the Capitol, Jennifer Lott, 16 WAPT News.